This video, sponsored by Skillshare. Hey everyone, welcome back to Effect for You channel. Today, we are going to create digital product promo like this. So let's get started. First today sponsor message, Skillshare is an online learning community for creatives, where millions come together to take the next step in their creative journey, Skillshare offers thousands of inspiring classes for creative and curious people, on topics including illustration, design, photography, video, and more. You can learn motion graphic, logo animation, Premiere Pro, and many more from professional people. And you can get all these an affordable price, the first 1000 people to use this link will get a 1 month free trial of Skillshare. Let's jump into After Effects. First create your composition, and I called this main comp. I am using a 32 bit channel composition, so that we can get more detail in colors. Now create another new composition and change width and height 2500 by 2500 pixels, I called this grid comp. Now create a new solid layer, select the layer, and search fractal noise effect. Change noise type, block. Increase contrast 200. Complexity 1. Open transform and decrease scale amount around 70. Then select the layer and search mosaic effect. Horizontal and vertical blocks 90. And check sharp colors. Then search find edges effect. And check invert. Now here you can see the pattern. You can also change these pattern by adjusting the brightness amount. Cool. Now go to project window and create a new composition. And I called this grid mat. Create a new solid layer. Select the layer, then select ellipse tool. And create a circle like this. Open mask property and add a keyframes on mask expansion, and move mask expansion amount in negative direction, until our mask disappear. Then go to around 2 second forward. And change mask expansion amount 0 pixel. So it's look like this. Select both keyframes and easy ease them. Make your graph like this. Now duplicate the layer, and move 3 to 4 frame forward. Select bottom layer and change track mat, alpha inverted mat, so it's look like this. Cool. Now select the top layer, and open mask property, and increase the mask feather. You can adjust the feather amount according to your choice. Perfect. Now create one more composition and I called this, Grid Floor. I am not good in renaming, so please bear me. Now drag Grid and Grid Mat Comp in your timeline. Move Grid Mat above the Grid Layer. Now select Grid Layer, and change Mat, Alpha Mat. Here you can see the effect. Cool. Select the Grid Layer and search Vegas effect. 
change color white and blend mode transparent, here you can see the effect and change the segments one perfect now animate the length, go to first frame and add a keyframe on length and amount zero then go to around two second forward and change the length amount one here you can see how it's look cool we also need to animate the rotation so hold alt key and click on stopwatch icon and type time into 100 Perfect, it's look good to me. Now go to main comp, and drag grid floor into the timer line. Convert as a 3D layer. Press R for rotation, and change X rotation minus 90 degree. And slightly move the layer bottom side of the comp. and increase the size and also move the Z position little bit perfect now we need to apply color to this so search tint effect and change white color according to your choice then search glow effect and adjust the threshold and radius amount, as per your choice. This is all depends on you how you want your comp look like. I am just showing you an example, the choice is yours. I changed both amount around 20-20%. Now duplicate the glow effect. Glow intensity 0.3 glow radius 100 and glow threshold around 40% now duplicate the grid floor layer and move just a little bit above from bottom layer now change the first glow intensity 0.5 glow radius 50 and glow threshold 10% then change second glow threshold 20% and glow intensity 0.1 these amounts could be varied in your condition perfect, it's look good to me now we need to add our product here so go to project window, and create a new composition. And this is our placeholder 1 comp. Width and height 2500 by 2500 pixels. Then drag your product image into the timer line. Resize according to you. Now again go to project window and create a new composition 1920 by 1080. This is our product matte comp. Now create a new solid layer. Select the layer and search fractal noise effect. Change contrast around 200. Open transform, uncheck scaling, and scale height 50 and scale width 300 complexity 3 now we need to animate the brightness go to first frame and add a keyframe on brightness and change the brightness in negative direction until our composition turns black then go to around one and half second forward and change amount until our composition turns white Cool. Make sure your noise type block. Perfect. 
Now duplicate the fractal noise effect, press U to show all keyframes, and move the duplicate fractal noise first keyframe, around 15 frame forward, and change brightness amount 100, and also change the fractal noise blending mode, multiply. Here you can see some noise in first frame, so just change the brightness little more. Perfect, it's look good to me. Now select layer and search fast blur effect, change blur dimension horizontal, and blur radius 15. Cool. Now go to project window and create a new composition. And I called this media 1. Then drag placeholder 1 and project mat into the timeline. Select placeholder 1 and pre-compose. And this is I called product 1. Select product 1 change mat alpha mat. Open product 1 and resize your placeholder. Now go to media 1, select product 1 layer, and search set mat effect. Take mat from, product mat layer. And use mat from, luminance. So here you can see the effect. Cool. Now select product 1 layer, and search color armor effect. Open input phase, and add phase product mat. See how it looks. Now open output cycle. And I don't want to these colors, so remove them all. I want color like fire, so I am adjusting the color as I preferred but you are free to make as you like. Because as I said, the choice is yours. I am skipping this part so that you don't have to wait. Perfect, it's look good to me. Now search displacement map effect. Select displacement map layer, product mat and change horizontal displacement, minus 25. Then duplicate the effect two time. So here you can see. Cool. Now search curves effect. And make your curves like this. This will make our color little lighter. Perfect. I don't want this colorful layer visible in our full timeline, so go to one second forward, and add a keyframe on opacity. Then go to few frame forward, and change opacity 0%. Now duplicate the product 1 layer, and move above the product matte layer, and delete the set matte, and color armor effect. Also delete curves effect. Select layer press U to show keyframes. Go to the first keyframe and change the opacity 0%. And second keyframe amount 100%. Perfect, it's look good to me. Adjust the keyframe according to your choice. Now go to project window and create a new composition. And this is our product reveal comp. Drag me do one comp into the timeline. Then create a new adjustment layer. And search set channels effect. 
set alpha to source saturation and layer mode normal to add as you can see our smartwatch not fully disappear from the composition that's because our product is not fully in white color but we will manage this to animate the opacity so go to first frame and add a keyframe and change opacity 0% then go to few frame forward and change opacity 100%. Then again go to few frame forward and add a keyframe. Then again go to 4 to 5 frame forward and change the opacity 0%. Perfect. Now apply hue and saturation effect, to make our colors more attractive, like a fire. So adjust the color according to your choice. Now search glow effect. Change the threshold and glow radius. And glow intensity 0.3. Cool. Now duplicate the media one layer and move above the adjustment layer, go to around 5 to 6 frame forward, change opacity 0% and add a keyframe, go to few frame forward and change the opacity 100%. Adjust the keyframe according to you. Here what we want, first appear our adjustment layer, then our main product, and then disappear the adjustment layer. Perfect, it's look good to me. Now go to main comp and drag product reveal into the timeline. And convert as 3D layer and move right side of the composition and also move the layer few frame forward now we need to create reflection of the product so create a new composition and I called this floor now drag floor texture image into the timeline and convert into 3d layer and change X rotation minus 90 degree and move the image bottom side of the comp. Now go to main comp and drag floor comp into the timeline. And turn off the layer, then create an adjustment layer. Just above the floor layer. Select the layer and search compound blur effect. Change Blur Layer, Floor. Now also duplicate the Product Reveal Layer. And I called this Product Reveal Reflection. And move this layer below the Adjustment Layer. Then move the Product Image bottom side of the composition. So here you can see the effect. Cool. Select the layer and create a mask like this. And change mask cap to subtract. And increase the mask feather. Also decrease the layer opacity a little bit. Perfect. Cool. As you see our tutorial is almost 20 minutes long, and I don't want to make this video 40 minutes long, because I don't want to take your too much time, so I will continue the next part in my next video, thanks for watching I'll see you in the next video.